What's good, what's good, what's good, my sizes? We're back again with another video, and today we are at the NAB Convention 2024. As you can see, we're in front of the Sony booth right now, but it's from the 14th to the 17th, so let's get into it. All right, you guys, we've made it to NAB. This is day one of NAB. Look at all these people. People. It's too early for this. <laughs> This is the one slot machine that's not going to cost you any money. Yeah. That's right. You know, that's, that's the only right part. <laughs> I smell the mints. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Some stations even have coffee and sometimes they'll just offer it to you and other times you have to like watch a presentation, scan your badge, stuff like that. But a lot of stations I've noticed have coffee stations. For reference, my dad was dieting at the time and literally ordered like a double shot of espresso coffee. So I ran into the Dell Technologies booth and immediately recognized that this is in the Unreal Engine. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Having gone to school for film, this was so cool because like I actually knew about it. So I felt like it was in my realm. I understood what they were saying to me and it was just a great experience and to have recognized this it was just so cool because i actually got to explain how it works to my parents as well which i think is super cool because then i could be like hey like the college degree it paid off so <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie to you guys one thing that i literally dread is coming to nab because i just feel like a lot of it doesn't pertain to me but this year i actually found so many booths that pertain to the way that i edit the way that I do my storage, how I film. And then we came across this one booth that literally had like rubber band guns and my dad had a blast and was just acting like a child. And that was like some type of like storage thing. But then we came across this one booth that had like different types of lenses for your phone. So I was like, okay, I was super interested in it, but he put it on my phone and I didn't see a difference. So this next clip is with the, with my phone on like the lens and then he took it off and then he was like see the difference so let me know if you guys see a difference because I don't know if I did um, I'm sitting in a director's chair and the thing that he has the camera on right now is the dolly can you focus on the screen can you focus on the monitor right there to show what yep to show what he's doing thank you thank you so much it's hard when you're the only one who knows how to film <laughs> <laughs> so I just realized, I don't know if this is me or not, but in that last clip, I feel like I look soft. I, like, I feel like I wasn't in focus, but maybe, maybe that's just me. Anyways, we ran into this newer booth and I really like their lights, but they had the 360 like selfie thing. So that was really cool. We did a video on that and that was really cool. And then they had like this immersive driving experience, but as soon as I started filming, this one crashed. So I was like, okay, moving on. So then I came across Small Rig and I really like their products, but I feel like they're a bit expensive when I could just like jerry rig it myself. So I was trying to get ideas, so I just filmed like what they had because obviously I film on my phone. So I was like, okay, maybe I could just DIY myself a little small rig concoction or something. So maybe maybe that'll be a new like DIY video. So then, we went, so then we went to Canon and what I really like about Canon is how they have the different camera setups and it shows you like on the televisions above how, how they affect the image that you're looking for and I think that's really nice because especially for somebody who's not trained to look at the small details, it helps them like get familiar with or just look at certain things differently, you know? I feel like when it comes to this year's NAB, there wasn't that many new products. However, there was a lot more focus on like editing softwares and programs. And I saw a lot of different drones and gimbals out at a lot of different stations. So we were at the DJI booth and they had their drone demonstration going, but we went over to the gimbals and everybody was talking about this year for gimbals, the lightweightness of the gimbal itself, because if you guys own a gimbal, then you know that it's quite heavy and it's exhausting to carry that around for hours on end. 
and so I tried it out, put it on my phone, this, that, and the other, and it was actually very light. However, we came across a different booth that also was like, oh yeah, like we're we're known to have the world's lightest gimbal, this, that, and the other. So we really debated between which gimbal to potentially buy. Also, we ran into this woman who had a literal tripod that she could hold in her hand. Like it was like a keychain for her phone. And she said she got that at Best Buy. So I might be going to Best Buy because that looked really cool because that was super convenient. And then of course you have bigger companies like Ari, which also sell lights. So here we are at the Sony booth. I kind of felt obligated going to Sony considering they just announced that they're trying to build a studio out here in Las Vegas. Um, but I wasn't really impressed. I mean like they have camera stuff, but they just didn't have what I was looking for. And then we came across the, this other company called Poheem and <laughs> they, they were the other gimbal that we were debating between but I don't know if you guys saw the legs for the tripod and how skinny they were I just I couldn't trust that for my phone because my phone's so heavy so I was like maybe I should just go with the DJI one um, and then we came across this Cine Central I'm not really sure what it was but I think they were having like a competition or something and oh I also saw a lot of steady cams going around um, at this nap too. They also had a bunch of different food truck vendors, which I do not remember from last year, but okay, pop off, and they had shaded seating. Anyways, this next clip will be my review of the DJI gimbal, so enjoy. So I was there, I tried it out, I put my phone on it, because my phone's pretty heavy as is, and it fit my phone, it was super light with my phone on it, and it worked really well, and it extended, so I was like, okay, I have to get it. We are going to unbox the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 gimbal, and I got this attachment, that goes with this gimbal and it's basically like a selfie light so as you can see the clamps are supposed to light up and give you like good lighting for your selfies this was $150 on Amazon and this was a $50 attachment also on Amazon so as you can see when you open it up it has instructions so there's a QR code that tells you like how to work it and then it just basically shows you that it opens up and then how to attach your phone and then it extends I can't quite show you what my phone looks like on the thing so maybe I'll film that part later with using somebody else's phone because like I'm filming this right now so I'm not gonna hook my phone up to this because you have to go through their their DJI app but I'm, I'm just gonna show you like what the clamps look like on this okay so I open up the thing and then to this I just it's a magnet so it kind of already snaps into place but I like to wiggle it a little bit to make sure it's already in place and then that's once it's balanced it will look like this so that's what it looks like and then if you're ever confused um there's a sticker sorry my hands in my there's a sticker on the side and it shows you like camera up meaning that's where your lenses goes also i want to show you what the one with the light looks like and then i'll turn on the light to show you the difference because as you can see this room doesn't really have the best of lighting so this is what it looks like on your phone i have to take my phone out of the case but that's because i have a wallet case type so it's like too thick um, but if you have like a normal case, you shouldn't have to do that. So again, I don't know if this will work. Oh, it does. I was just curious because there's like a little lip on this, but there's no lip on this one, on this clamp. So anyways, once you level it out, it's going to look like this or like this, depending, whatever. And then as you can see, the power button back here. So I'm going to turn it on. See how I'm like white. And then this is a warmer color. Here's like a mix of the two. And then, so now I changed it back to the white and I'm gonna show you the brightness just by hitting the power button. Do you see like me getting brighter? Brightest, off. So we're gonna do that again. This is the warmer shade, brighter, off. Turn it back on. This is the mix of the two, brighter, brightest, off. But when we open up, we have this little box and on the flap, you open it up and you have the charging cord for it and the pouch Ooh, I just dropped everything in the pouch that you could store your gimbal in. You see, this is the gimbal, this is the tripod, and this is the clamp. So let me take it all out for you. So this is the clamp. Look how nice this looks. This looks really nice. I was showing my mommy. And <laughs> anyways, <laughs> so this is what the gimbal looks like. And it turns on. You could see like that's where the charging battery part is. And it's basically, it has the same setup and buttons as all of their other gimbals. Where you can see like the little dial on the side, this here, here, and here. And then on the back is the trigger that you could program to do different things. And this is the tripod. So you just open it up like that. It's literally the same as everything else. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Oh. 
it's tight because <laughs> I just opened it. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. Super cool, right? <clears throat> I have the tripod legs on the bottom, the regular gimbal, and then yeah, you just pull, apparently. Don't be afraid. I was afraid, but you just pull. Look how long that is. That's literally from like my my sternum all the way to like my nose. That's some good height. Especially for someone who's short like me. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this up and we are gonna open up the selfie stick clamp. You have the charger because it, it's a light, essentially, so you have to charge it. So again, this was $50. The gimbal was like $150. And this is one of their newer products that they were showing us. This is what the clamp looks like. See? Oh, that's so cool, it works. And then, you see how it's like brighter? It's supposed to adjust the, um, the way that they said, oh, I was gonna say, the way that they said it at the convention is that it was supposed to change color temperatures. So yeah, you have like a warmer tint, a cooler tint, and then daytime. So that's so cool. And then of course, if you hit the, the power buttons back here on the back. So if you hit that, it brightens it, brightens it, and then it turns off. So that's cool. Okay, so I'm trying to put everything away and I noticed these little things and it's for your phone. It's anti-slip pads. So it's to help your phone from like, you know, slipping out of the, the clamp that holds your phone that connects to the gimbal. All right, thanks for coming to my unboxing, bye. All right, you guys, that is all we have for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have ever been to NAB or wanna come to NAB and be sure to smash that subscribe button down there while you're at it. Toodles.